Hello my guys and welcome to another episode. For this episode I'm working on this 2003 Ford F-150. Some problems, obviously, is a Ford. So I'm going to scan the vehicle to see what we need to fix. So let's get to it. On this vehicle I'm going to use this scanner. This scanner is from Boscom. Uh, model number iFix 435. I'm going to use this scanner to see what's going on and what we need to fix. So this is the scanner itself. Use your manual. And the cable to connect to the OBD2. It has to be OBD2, not OBD1. So if you have an older car, this is not going to work for it. But on this 2003, this one is going to work. So let's connect it here on top. Screw it all the way in. Make sure that we have a good connection. Let's plug it in first and then we turn the switch on. OBD2 port is in here. Plug it in. Now turn the switch on switch is on and this is the first page diagnostic OBD2 settings update and about now you have F1, F2, F3 and you have the arrows OK scan right here we are in diagnostic if we move the arrows to the right it's gonna go to settings update about and we go back once we are in diagnosed we press okay American okay the first one is Ford we press okay automatic selection yeah we press okay set ignition on the ignition is on okay okay F-150 super crew four full side doors yes this is the one we press OK. Now it's going to start checking the vehicle to see what codes we have. Quick test, system selection, vehicle information. Let's go to quick test. Do you really want to start a quick test? Yes. Uh, scanning. Anti lock brake system, traction control module. Okay, on the quick test, it's already 100. On the ABS, anti-lock braking system, traction control, no codes. If we go down, uh, find three codes in there. Uh, hybrid electronic cluster, one code. PCM, two codes. Okay, so on those six places. Let's go to the first one. There's no codes in there. On that one, we press OK. System information on this one DTCs key on engine off on demand self test retreating continuous memory vehicle speed sensor that's the first code P0500 the second one is B1428 safety belt lamp circuit fault B1318 low battery voltage so that's what we found in there on the third one it says that it has one code on the hybrid electronic cluster we press ok system read it to see key on engine off ok retrieving continuous memory to see all pressure switch yeah I knew about this one all pressure switch is not working right so I'm gonna tell the owner when to replace that. I knew about this one. This one, the powertrain PCM. No, it doesn't have supercharge. Read the disease. Okay, key, key running on demand. No, nothing to see here. Okay, so we're gonna focus on the vehicle speed sensor and oil pressure switch. Okay, for this test, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna press OK 
on the second one and we're gonna do a self test we press ok yeah doors have to be closed hood has to be closed ignition on we press ok and it's gonna start testing the whole truck driver seat belt switch okay we have that one spin sensor a safety belt lamp yes i know about that and the battery okay it's nothing really major on this vehicle but i gotta let the customer know about all this so we can work on it especially vehicle speed sensor like i said before and the oil pressure switch and for this one the oil pressure switch probably is not gonna be run but it told me that i had to be running the truck and scan the vehicle again so i'm gonna do that to verify that i need to replace that and the oil pressure switch is really easy on these trucks on this one if you go to settings press ok you gonna be able to change the language unit beep lock uh, button test lcd test you gonna be able to work in the ovd2 itself if you want to change everything the stuff that is in the ovd2 scanner you can do updates and most important diagnostic you can pretty much check everything with this scanner not really expensive and uh, works really good and fast as you can see okay guys so i'm gonna leave it with this i'm gonna work on this truck but i gotta get the approval from the customer i'm gonna put the link in the description if you want to get this scanner uh, really affordable and as you can see it works really good check the whole system check the whole truck and it tell me exactly what i need to fix and uh i'll leave it with this guys i hope you like this episode thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one peace